Hai, nama saya Adlin Yusman, pengarah eksekutif, CEO and founder of Bimalas or Bilazi as we are known outside of Malaysia. On set service on demand, the first one in Malaysia, also one of the first few ones in Asia Pacific lah. Close to four and a half months ago, we were doing another startup which has a concierge layer below it. Uh, it was to do at the time with uh, job search because we were wondering that uh, in the job search market uh, these days, as a guy who's looking for people, they all kind of think oh, gato gato CV, and it's a lot of work just to siphon through this. So we were thinking, let's do a concierge layer where you tell me what you need to post to get your portal at the time, and we will then go through the list. For you. So, sekatus so tu kita orang tengok sampai 10 yang perfect and then kita bagi kat you. Then kita borak-borak-borak my partner and I realise dia apa dia buat just for jobs, macam saya buat for everything. So, then kita decide at the end of April, check out, jom kita cuba over a weekend, tengok orang take up tak service ni. And so far, Alhamdulillah, it's been quite quite strong. Right? Malas is always seen as a bad word lah kan. You know, fikir kalau malas tu means you tak nak kerja, tak nak belajar. Tapi sebenarnya kalau you fikir in, in western cultures, for you to be lazy is a very expensive commodity kan. You have to be very senior or you have to be smart enough nak delegate lah, nak bagi kerja ke orang kan. So kita realise kalau you democratise the value of uh, malas ni, meaning kalau you bagi a fee that cheap enough, murah, everybody can afford to be, I wouldn't say malas lah, but then they optimise your time better lah. I think, I think kita, I, I bersyukur lah sebenarnya because masa kita mula pun, the first week itself kita mula pun dah take off almost immediately lah, Alhamdulillah lah I think masa kita mula itu, we started my first ever post lah, kakak saya and dia nak pakai sajalah, biasa lah, you start friends dengan family kan so lepas tu kita post dekat Facebook kita tiba-tiba, entah macam mana, my wife share on dia punya Facebook page kawan-kawan dia tengok, kawan-kawan dia pun share, 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 share dalam 2-3 hari, semua orang share and then everybody started uh, using us and in fact, in fact, I think you guys covered us in the first few days of the service and after you guys share even more people share so memang memang the, the the request never stop coming lah so alhamdulillah lah on, on that side lah thanks to to Aman actually that's that's been a, a lot of help for us So sekarang ni kalau a customer comes in dia minta let's say nak minta nasi lemak tangling. So let's say you nak tangling. Okay, so you message kita orang nombor kita 0126431303 yang Malaysia punya number lah. So then kita punya malas manager orang yang handle request you akan ambil request, dia akan check dengan tangling sama ada ada ke buka ke tutup ke lauk you ayam lauk ayam tu ada lagi ke tak ada. And then dah dapat harga tu kita akan cakap dekat customer okay this is the price of your tangling. Then this is kita punya lazy fee. Lazy fee tu kita punya service charge and then delivery lah. So you agree to that price kita hantar lah. is percentage. So percentage dia define from anywhere between 12 to 15% of the purchase price. Kalau benda tu mahal, of course it's reduced lah. Or in a sense kita boleh negotiate sebenarnya. Kalau you beli barang macam sekarang kita ada kadang-kadang order 20,000 ada. So 20,000 ayah saya nak charge 15% lebih too much kadang-kadang kan. So unlike a normal e-commerce website where you cannot negotiate. Kita sebagai orang Malaysia ni sebenarnya suka sangat negotiate. Berapa RM10? Tak, RM5. <laughs> so standard lah kan. So kalau macam tu kita pun we appreciate that from our customers. And selagi boleh kita akan negotiate lah. Tapi at the end of the day there will always be cost related to it. Payment gateway charges kan. Credit card charges so on and so forth. Tapi selagi boleh kita akan negotiate. We will what's the word lah. Macam accommodate lah untuk request customer kita. Cilmah tu tak pelik. Cilmah tu biasa. Pelik. Okay, masa kita orang buat, masa kita orang start dulu-dulu, yang paling pelik yang sebaik sekarang yang saya ingat is uh, ni memang tak cakap pelik lah tapi nak ganjil tak ganjil. So, customer ni message kita 8.30. Masa tu kita orang buka. Sampai sekarang pun sekarang kita buka pukul 9 kan. So, 8.30 masa tu and then dia cakap dia nak baju merah. Urgent. Hantar sekarang juga. Kata kan. And then we said kita buka pukul 9. So, and then kalau walaupun kita buka pukul 9, kedai tak buka pukul 9. Nak beli baju merah kan. Dia cakap urgent. Dia nak, dia nak juga baju merah tu and he needs the baju dekat sungai besi kan. Eh? Cerah. Ceras. Pukul 10. That means by the time kedai buka tu, tak sempat lah nak beli nak hantar ke dia kan. So, we were like macam mana nak buat ni. So, at that time, kita punya rajin runner at that time, cakap dia ada baju merah kat rumah. Yang tu je lah yang dia ada. Would he, would he mind taking that? It's not new. Tapi kalau you nak sangat baju merah, I bagi baju air. So, customer cakap, okay, I don't care as long as it's red. And I need you to be at Ceras by 10. So, kita rush lah sampai daripada buku 8.30 tu ambil order sampai dekat Ceras tu about 9.40 lah. And then we realise bila sampai-sampai tu, it was a crematorium. Kejut lah. Eh, crematorium? So, mamak tu bila jumpa kita, he was so happy. Dia cakap, I'm very thankful. Dia kata, pasal I need to bury my relative. Tak ada baju ni, tak boleh. I cannot cremate lah. So, that was to me strange but... It was very moving lah because siapa lagi you nak, you nak call at that time and and sorry to to also add 
yang satu lagi cerita best was our usual customer regular lah memang pakai tak 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 seminggu pakai sekali pukul 8.30 pagi juga minta cakap nak breast pump pasal bini dia baru baru bersalin and then lupa or tak beli breast pump and then needed it at that moment in time 8.30 pagi and 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 the one thing that i realized was to is can you imagine time masa tu UPK zaman zaman dulu kalau you tak ada pun siapa nak beli family you kerja kan and your wife needed it at the time he needed it by by one hour and, and we, we we brought it for him lah kita nationwide sekarang macam-macam kita buat hari tu i ingat apa nama that kelantanis punya bukan jala emas oh, dia, dia macam jala emas dia, dia memang macam jala emas dia macam jala emas tapi minah ni duduk kat Pahang customer ni duduk kat Pahang tapi dia nak Kelantan punya jala emas <laughs> that was a very special request so we did it for her time tu bulan puasa Hai nama saya Nash Uh, selamat datang ke Ofis Bini Malas Ok, uh, yang ni semua ialah tempat kita buat packing uh, Barang-barang ni semua kita akan hantar ke East Malaysia uh, So, kebanyakan uh, order-order yang kita dapat uh, Kita dapat daripada Semenanjung, Sabah Sarawak Kadang-kadang, even Pulau Langkawi pun ada orang order barang daripada kita juga So, so kawasan ni ialah untuk sales and marketing Uh, memang diorang tak ada kat sini sebab kalau diorang duduk sini kita ada masalah sebab diorang kena pergi luar lepas tu dia kena jual kita punya service kan kat sini kita punya malas managers guys just say hi hi, hi. so uh, tugas diorang ialah untuk uh, proses semua request yang kita dapat melalui SMS, Facebook, email atau pelbagai cara lah kadang-kadang Twitter pun ada, ada orang order so kita proses kat sini uh, so uh, we have two team uh, this team handles the Singapore Brunei, Vietnam semua Belah sini semua Malaysia So, dia Dia orang akan tukar tempat So, yang kat belah sana Yang paling hujung tu Ialah actually a hot seat lah So, normally uh, The core management team Akan duduk situ To us, competition is The value that we give to customers sekarang So, yang penting sekarang Asalkan customer tu Dapat apa yang dia nak Kadang-kadang To be fair Let's say I ada 400 request Tak semestinya semua 400 Saya boleh fulfill kadang-kadang Kan? So, same goes to our competitors They may not be able to fulfill At the same time So, what we're doing For the market sekarang Kat Malaysia or in KL Is to allow everybody To be able to use Concept service So, dari segi competition As long as our customers And when I say our I mean even our competitors We get to serve Kita punya customer That's good enough lah Kita ada dua office, uh, dua set, they call it staff uh, countries, which is Vietnam and Brunei. Uh, kita patut buka office uh, di Hong Kong dengan Melbourne di bulan Oktober November. Tapi kita hold hold sekejap pasal demand uh, Malaysia dengan Singapore is still going up. And we think daripada expand kita punya resources, I mean our resources can only be so much lah kan. I mean, unless we have uh, like one billion dollars to spend different story lah kan. Kita ada pun limited fund. So we need to ensure that whatever money we have, we maximize it. And 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 service is very important untuk kita. I would rather every one of my customers kat Malaysia, Singapore, Vietnam, Brunei, I mean Ho Chi Minh City in this sense, gets the level of service bila you message macam masa Equan message kita dulu, you message, you dapat reply immediately. That's the kind of service level kita nak maintain lah just because I have 4 countries I have 50,000 requests a day tapi dalam 50,000 tu I boleh jawab 10,000 je tak cok lah kan it has to be it has to be proper lah So, the investment came in immediately when masa masuk tu, that's how we open up Singapore. Kita buka KL to be nationwide. Uh, we have more people here. I mean, manpower is very important. Talent is important lah because it is a very, nak cakap manpower intensive tu, ada lah juga. Tapi more than, more than anything else, I think it's more of knowledge, technology. Every request, nombor satu, I tak ada drop off. I tak ada customer masuk, tak dapat reply dalam 2 jam. I don't want that to happen because it's very bad. But with human element, memang ada. Because kadang-kadang, bukan satu request masuk 10, 10 minit, dia 10 request masuk seminit. So, macam kadang-kadang masuk, tak sempat nak, nak reply so when we had the funding we started building technology hiring more people expansion so on and so forth lah. but half million US tu setakat cukup untuk apa yang kita buat untuk hari ni lah so as we go out to other countries we will be raising more money lah Malas manager kita ada dekat sebelah orang Malas manager My whole team regionally has about close to 30 people lah Satu memang kena tahan lasak Memang kena tahan lasak Because it's a 7 day a week operation Even our operation hours So you guys can announce it We are announcing it here We are actually will be extending the hours lah nanti InsyaAllah towards the night night side of things In October full fully lah kan ni tengah test service so sekarang bukan masalahnya kita fikir dulu kita cekat sampai pukul 7 tapi kita sampai pukul 1 pagi ada request lagi kan so daripada kita buat sampai pukul 7 maksudnya kita extend officially tengok macam mana lah kan in terms of request bukan kadang-kadang orang malam pukul 9, 9.30 malam pun balik kerja nak beli makanan tak ada tak ada masa or tired kan so 
kita ada dua jenis lah daripada or, or dua modus operandi MBO yang kita pakai dia ada dua even even dalam rajin runner kita pun ada tier lain called elite values so elite value ni memang betul-betul yang macam you katalah kalau benda tu mahal benda tu besar benda tu berharga hari tu kita hantar cincin berharga RM30,000 untuk polish macam tu memang tak boleh hantar random person tu so kita ada memang what we call elite values because we realise that as our orders uh, increasing so we are by far in a way the lead for concepts demand kita we came first lah so to be honest kan so memang macam-macam lah orang minta bila you dapat the trust of the community you kena carry that on your back so kadang-kadang bila orang cakap kat you you nak, you nak bagi cincin berharga RM30,000 takkan you kata saya takut nak handle cik dia tak kisah dia kata no I want you to make sure that you have processes to make sure cincin nak selamat lah so kita ada lah so as we grow we understand the demand lah so macam barang-barang kita hantar barang-barang berat ni furniture kita hantar sampai Vietnam ada direct from here kadang-kadang orang Vietnam dia orang suka beli barang kat sini kita hantar in terms of I mean how we came so far lah. I mean business kita Alhamdulillah tak putus-putus daripada the day kita join again I'm very thankful to Amans for even being there at the beginning lah tak, tak ada orang lagi cover kita masa tu in fact tak, tak expect pun Amans cover kan it was just a request, request like any other request minta Apple Watch tapi the support from Malaysian Singaporean and, and another thing I will realise kat Singapore kita jumpa this uh, one bakery very small bakery eh dekat Singapore kecil je dia buat cupcake yang I tak pernah rasa cupcake yang rasa kalau you duduk sini overtime boleh rasa because my staff balik daripada Singapore memang memang power memang cupcake ni memang power tiap-tiap hari dia punya menu tukar okay, tak tertarik cupcake onde-onde cupcake and we wouldn't have found this if it wasn't for our business and our customers kat Singapore would not have known about this had they not seen kita post so dia punya dalam sehari dia dapat I think about 1,500 cupcakes 500 is what we give to them sekarang that's the magic we've seen through this business lah in a sense macam-macam business lah kita boleh tahu kadang-kadang customer minta kat kita burger I tak pernah dengar nama burger ni tiba-tiba lepas kita post online rupa-rupanya ramai orang tahu burger ni kita yang tak tahu so kita bring offline to online and we are trying to do that for all our merchants dia bukan macam macam-macam yang besar je dapat cover kan kadang-kadang kalau you buat e-commerce the bigger the brand the better itself. macam kita orang ni kadang-kadang nama yang orang tak dengar pun really takes off and we're happy to do that lah